Chris. So I've been running the windmill here uh, for three years now and um, been producing five to six tonnes of flour a year, wind permitting. We have to get the wheat up through the mill and then it works its way back down again. Sometimes we'll actually winch wheat up when we're not actually milling. There's enough wind to work the winch and we'll actually take wheat up, have it ready. Uh, and then when we're actually milling, depending on the wind speed, uh, we can reduce and uh, at the moment uh, 75 kilos an hour. Now we're in the cap. This is the top floor of the mill, resting on wheels, and that's kept facing in the wind with the fan tail. Uh, when the sails turn, the power is brought in uh, through the brake wheel, through the wallower, through the main shaft, down to the mill to run all the machinery. You see it all working as it would have done 170 years ago, basically. Above me here is the sack hoist, and this is how we winch the sacks up through the mill. We have been milling uh, a local wheat for, uh, for a number of years now. Uh, we're actually now going to turn to totally organic, which people seem to like. People generally want to have local produced food and um, in an eco-friendly way. And uh, with the windmill, it appears that we can probably produce 250 tonnes that we want to produce with the wind power. Okay, this is the stone floor, and the wheat is falling from the floor above, into the horse, and then into the feed chute, and then it's being fed into the stones. As you can see, the power is coming from the top of the mill, and making its way down, and turning the quant nut here to drive the stones. The process we use here is actually we're using stones to, to mill the uh, wheat. So that involves a pair of stones, uh, not touching, but with a very small gap, uh, with, with grooves, uh, specific grooves cut in them to actually uh, cut the wheat open and then turn it into flour. This is uh, the most interesting job that I've ever had in my working life. Now we're on the, um, the meal floor. You can see here the bag where the wheat is falling from the stones above. We have the governors running above us which actually control the pressure on the stones to keep the, the wheat coming out the same coarseness. And also the dressers located on this floor and this is what we use to extract the bran to produce the white flour. Just put a ball in there so it only comes out the first one and a half segments on the, the sieve. I think the experience is to see how people would have worked instead of just being a museum where you walk and see nothing working. They can actually see, even me as a miller, can see me working basically as, they, as the miller would have done 200 years ago. So they get a real, real feeling of, of how things used to be done. <laughs>